automatic $1,400 fourth stimulus check as the United States economy continues to crumble. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. First off, let me ask you this. Do the words automatic stabilizers ring a bell? Well, it should because this is something that lawmakers are in support of. In fact, a big group of lawmakers drafted a letter and sent it over to President Biden calling on him to support automatic stabilizers in the event the United States economy continues to crumble and the unemployment rate continues to move higher. Well, guess what? That's exactly what's happening right now. And by the way, when I say stabilizers, that's just a fancy way of saying money going out to the people. Anyway, that's exactly what I want to talk about right here in the video. So let's get right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. As I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you right by your side every single day, watching all this new information, hitting the wire, doing all the necessary research, and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what is actually going on as things are changing rapidly. And of course, we're continuously getting all these new announcements out of lawmakers, the president, the administration, Congress as a whole, as well as everything that Congress is currently working on, including the bills and packages, proposals and amendments, reform to very important fixed income benefits, and of course, anything in regards to money, checks, programs, stimulus, raises to benefits, Fits or anything else like that. Of course, I'm watching it all very closely and bringing it to you right here in these videos. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And let's get into it and talk about automatic stabilizers and what this means for all of us going forward. So this is actually a really great concept and lawmakers have brought it to the attention of the president as well as all of their other colleagues there in Congress as well. So this is something that actually does have widespread support across many different lawmakers lawmakers. So like I've said, they're calling it automatic stabilizers. Again, it's a really fancy way of basically just saying, writing into legislation automatic money to go out in the event that the United States economy crumbles further and the unemployment rate hits key benchmarks. So this is something that's actually very interesting. I want to talk you through the details about this because if lawmakers actually did this, this would mean automatic stabilizers, in other words, automatic stimulus checks to go out. So let's think back for just a minute now. So back in March of 2021, when the American Rescue Plan was working its way through Congress, a group of lawmakers came out, a pretty big group of lawmakers, by the way, came out and they drafted a letter which they also sent to the president to automatically add stabilizers into the bill. Now, what this would mean is simply they would put stabilizers in. So in the event that uh, the unemployment rate hits uh, different benchmarks, as in, let's just say, for example, it hits 5%, boom, a stimulus check goes out. It hits 6%, boom, another check goes out. It hits 6.5%, boom, another check goes out. 7%, there you go, winner, winner, you got another check. You know what I mean? That's exactly what these stabilizers would have been doing. So these lawmakers were calling on this saying, so we can prevent another 2020 type situation, like what we saw a major meltdown in the economy. We saw all these things happening. Well, these lawmakers were coming out and suggesting, why don't we add automatic stabilizers? So in the event, the unemployment rate hits another key benchmark, a very high, whatever it happens to be, 5%, five and a half, 6%, six and a half, seven, whatever it would have been at that time, they would have automatically had these stabilizers in place so that in the event that we have another situation like that happening, which is exactly what we're going to be seeing right now as a result of the economy literally crumbling under our feet. We're watching this whole thing collapse onto itself, like I've been talking about in a lot of videos previously. So as we continue to watch this situation play out, we're seeing this situation kind of coming into fruition, exactly what the lawmakers are pointing at back when they were introducing these automatic stabilizers. They were saying, in the event of this happening, rather than all of us in Congress coming together and trying to work out all the details of another package, working out the details of another check, working out uh, the details of enhanced unemployment benefits, and all the things that we saw back in 2020 and early 2021, why don't we just put it in automatically, right? So it's like a machine, right? Rather than humans interacting with the whole thing and humans messing up the process, they said, why don't we just step in and have this basically automated, right? Just like any other automated machine that's out there. When blank hits blank, right? Like an algorithm, right? Uh, if you're not familiar with what an algorithm is, basically it's like a mathematical uh, equation where basically when, you know, 
x equals or x and y align or you know whatever obviously you know algorithms are kind of complicated but basically what it means is like when this situation happens when if this then that happens then boom this will be assigned right that's basically exactly what algorithms do well that's what these lawmakers wanted to do they essentially wanted to add an algorithm that basically say when the unemployment rate hits a certain level an automatic check will go out just like the checks that we received back in 2020 early 2020 uh, late 2020 and early 2021, all the stimulus checks along with all the enhanced unemployment benefits like we saw during that time where millions of individuals were getting an extra $600 per week and then it went down to $300 per week. Do you remember all that business? The same old thing. So anyway, if the lawmakers would have been on their game and actually doing this, which by the way, a lot of lawmakers were actually in huge support of this and they wanted to implement it because they were actually proactively thinking and seeing that you know, at some point, we're going to be in another one of these situations. And that's what we're living through right now. We're seeing it play out right before our eyes, right here, right now. And realistically, uh, we haven't seen the worst of it yet, right? So the whole situation that we are experiencing right now, unfortunately, the worst of it is still yet to come. Like a big old storm on the horizon. We're just getting the front end of this thing, right? So anyway, maybe these lawmakers will come in and once again, uh, re you know revisit these ideas of automatic stabilizers. But again, another great idea that Congress had, another great idea that was introduced, they never put it into fruition, they never put it into place, but right now would be a great time to have this because as we continue to see the unemployment rate ticking higher because the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates and we know that people are being laid off from their jobs, we know that corporations, we know that large businesses, medium businesses, and small businesses are all holding back on hiring. They're laying off people. A lot of businesses are going broke right now. They're just busting up and this ending, this closing their doors. We know that the situation is pretty bad right now, right? And again, it's only going to get worse. Well, what's happening to all those people that are out of work right now? they're probably uh, drawing on unemployment benefits. Therefore, the unemployment rate is going to continue to tick higher. And again, this would be that one that would automatically um, send out those checks in the event that Congress would have put this in place, right? So I've mentioned this before in other videos, and I want to say this again really fast right now. It all comes down to the unemployment rate. Now, again, Congress will be looking at a variety of different factors. The unemployment rate is not the only one, the one fix all uh, different metric, but I do have to say this much. The unemployment rate, what is going on with the unemployment rate as far as our jobs being created, our jobs being lost, what's going on with employment and jobs in this country? If the unemployment rate continues to tick higher, that is the number one factor that we need to watch very, very closely because if the unemployment rate continues to tick significantly higher, this is going to be the number one metric that lawmakers and of course the administration and the president will be watching very closely to determine will checks need to go out, how big, when, and how frequently will those checks need to continue going out. Jobs are like the number one aspect that they look at when it comes down to the economy. Now, of course, they do look at other factors as well, but jobs are probably the number one that they watch. Also, when it comes down to inflation, they're not, re they're not really going to care about inflation. If we're losing millions of jobs, which by the way, I talked about this in a, re uh, a video, maybe, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago, I talked about this in a video. There's, a, uh, there's an estimation out there right now that we need to lose 15 million jobs in this country in order to bring inflation back down to the benchmark that the Federal Reserve wants, 2%. That means that 15 million people need to lose their jobs. Uh, do you think that's going to indicate another check to go out? <laughs> Probably a couple. I'm just being real with you right now. If the unemployment rate goes up that high and we lose 15 million jobs in this country, it's going to be an ugly picture. It's going to be very, very ugly, okay? And in that sense, uh, the Federal Reserve is going to be printing up trillions of dollars, and guess where that money is going to be going? They're going to be giving it away to anybody that wants some. Hey, you want some money? Here, grab some money. Just go out and spend it. That's all we care about, right? That's all that they're going to want to do at that point. And then when it comes down to inflation, they won't care less about inflation. Inflation could be 15%, and they'll still want to bring the economy back. That'll be the number one focus. Bring the economy back, because what does that mean? It means that people are out there spending money, it means that businesses are hiring people. It means that jobs are being created yet again. That is what they focus on. When it comes down to inflation, when they've got nothing else to do, then they worry about inflation. But when there's other bigger fish to fry, like the unemployment rate and people getting jobs, that is what they focus on. So 
Automatic stabilizers, a genius idea that was, uh, you know, introduced and brought out by that big group of lawmakers about a year and a half ago. If they would have put that in place, we could be we could be seeing automatic checks basically on the table, right? So who knows? Now that we're in this situation yet again, maybe Congress will, you know, come to their senses here and come out with another idea like this because. You know, they had it all written up. It was perfect. The way that they presented this, automatic stabilizers. What a great idea. In fact, when the lawmakers came out with that letter, I had my wife, Corey, come in and read that letter to you. The one that was submitted to the president, the actual exact letter that was submitted to the president. It was pretty good stuff. They had it all written out. They had a great plan, exactly what they wanted to do in the event that we have another 2020 type situation where the economy is going down, the unemployment rate is going up. In that sense, the unemployment rate pegs different levels and checks are automatically sent out. An algorithm, basically out of control of Congress, the best of all the worlds, right? We all know this all the time, right? Anytime that humans interfere with something, it usually gets messed up. <laughs> I mean, so let's be real right now, right? Seriously, humans, if we can remove the human element out of a lot of different things, a lot of things would uh, work a lot more smoothly, right? So anyway, I want to bring this to you because this is something that I would not be shocked one bit to see this come back out of lawmakers. Automatic stabilizers, stabilizers in other words being checks, money. That's what stabilizers are. Just a nice fancy word of saying money. Anyway, hope you're doing well. I hope this video helps you out to better understand what's going on right now. It's kind of a weird situation that we're dealing with right now. But as I do get further details on anything going on, of course, I'll be right here for you, breaking it all down, letting you know what's going on, and of course, how it's going to impact us, our money, bank accounts, uh, anything that we're receiving right now, and of course, anything else that Congress may be introducing. Either way, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out some of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, have a good one. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you again later.